This week's edition of Dig Nation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, CashFly.com, and Posh Suicide, because she loves Dig Nation. And we love her. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. <laughs> Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern California. It's Southern California and I have fruit. You <laughs> put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Mm. Ah. Straight. Hello and welcome to Dig Nation episode number 52. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dig Nation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com, D I G G dot com. We're very excited for today. We this are? is our uh, first show that is kind of like the version three of Dig, but version three of Dig Nation. That's right. Uh, Dig, obviously, which we'll talk about more later, uh, is, has their new version out. So we're, we're changing up our format a little bit. It's about time. Um, it's, it's been about a while. Time. It's been a while. I mean, yeah. we had to uh, stress some stuff. So. Kevin and I have decided that we're each going to cover sort of our favorite topic genre. Right. So uh, in this show, I'll be covering all of our celebrity-based news. That's right. And I will be uh, covering all of the political news. Right. Which so should be a cool mix. It, it'll excited. be a really good mix. And I think that some of the technology stuff, we're still tech fans. Sure. We're into it. Um, just kind of getting old a little bit. Well, and it will come up. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if some sort of tech celebrity weird thing happens, then I've it's got the tech. story today. Uh, Britney Spears' new cell phone. So that's tech. We're gonna be talking about that. Yeah. So that'll be cool. If something politically, you know, happens with technology, then that's tech. So right. we're not losing the tech. Right. The tech is still there, just yeah. kind of in the background, if you will. So it's not in the right that's in the front, horrible. but how it's, bad, it's how still bad would there. that be if that was what our show was? Yeah, doing? Yeah, we're actually not gonna that's be doing not that. Gonna, that's so not that uh, we've had so many people who are like, is Dignation gonna change? And the bottom line is, we love technology. We talk about the stuff that we want to talk right. about. You're probably not even going to see that big a difference. I, I don't think I could ever talk about celebrity news. That would be I a little... hate politics. I grew up in Washington, really? D.C. I hate politics. I'm not a big fan either. So there you go. Now you know. Everything should stay the same. Just yes. more stories. Sorry for the scare. Mm. And that took us quite a few takes to get that down. <laughs> that was guttural, we too. We had a hard time. Tiger came out of my chest. <laughs> no, just the one. Uh, so let's get right into it. First yes. off, we're here in San Francisco. We're at the Dig headquarters, mm -hmm. which is the like uh, the f fortress of solitude for the diggers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounded horrible, but uh, it made it sound like a halfway home or something. I know, if I you're know. You're digging and you have troubles. <clears throat> Come to the Dig.com fortress of that one's not open. Yes, and uh, beers. We just sort of raided the Dig uh, pantry, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I have uh, Red Stripe, and I have Spotten, which is mine's a Jamaican lager, and mine is from Munich. So, totally different. But equally good. Isn't it cool that beer is so universal? Yes. It's pretty much... Uh... Universal. <laughs> exactly. It's good stuff, though. Uh, the Spaten is yes. very light and um, crisp. Spaten? Spaten? Yeah. It's very light and crisp. It's good. Yeah, the uh, J uh, Red Stripe is a lot like Jamaica. Just real laid back, mellow, and... Uh... I don't know, full of marijuana, I guess. <laughs> no, I <don't> <laughs> no, it, uh, I, I, no, I love it. I actually had this when I was in Jamaica, in ah. college. How was Jamaica? I've never been. It is crazy. Is it really like drugs was, on the street, like people it offering the, you? It was the first and last time I was ever involved in a shady drug deal. I swear Dude, to God. Dude, you got to tell me what happened. Dude, like, all right. Well, because I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I don't you know, diss people who do it, but I'm just not yeah, somebody. Yeah, not your thing. And I went uh, on a cruise to Jamaica with like a bunch of uh, friends of mine, and uh, a couple of them were pretty big in the marijuana. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, to each their own. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> we're like going around, and he's like, oh, I want to get some, you know, like Jamaican marijuana, you know, blah, blah, blah. Stick green. And I was going to get uh, Cuban cigars, because at the time mm. I was really big in cigars. And uh, this huge Jamaican dude, totally sketchy, was like standing on the corner next to this like Cuban cigar place. Mm -hmm. And we get off the boat and we're like, where, where, where are we going, me? And I was like, oh, look, cigars, me. And we start walking. And the guy literally goes like this. He's like, looks at me and he goes, and I was like, oh, yeah, my buddy wants to like, <laughs> really out loud. So is it illegal it's there? It's illegal there. It's oh, just okay. like it. it's it was... a, no, no, no. It's definitely illegal. So then he proceeds, and he's like, a big motherfucker. Like, this is a big dude. Right. And he proceeds to, like, walk me and my buddy around, like, through these, like, alleys. And me and my buddy are starting to get, like, we don't know where we yeah, are. Yeah, I thought we could jump Jamaica. or something, yeah. Then he pulls us into this abandoned parking lot. 
and there's like a, two guys in like this old shitty Volvo. And the two guys get out, and they're just as big as the third oh, guy. Oh, shit, dude. So it's Blind. like three. Did you run? <laughs> no. Did you they're run? Like three huge dudes. Dude, you don't stick and around like, situations and, like No, that. and I kept saying, I was like, it's not worth it. And he was like, dude, I want to get to me. Well, you know, if he needs his Guy needs stuff. a sick. Yeah. So we go up, and the guy's like, <laughs> the guy's like, here's what I got. And shows him this like, little bag of like this like hairy crap. I mean, it didn't even look like pot. It was just like disgusting. Of course, I, I, um, I was like, well, maybe this is the best in the world, and it's supposed to look like moldy cheese. Right. And the guy's like, you know, it's 20, or it's like 80 bucks or 60 bucks or whatever, and he was like, oh, okay. So everybody starts, like, dealing out, like, cash and starts trying to barter with him. Oh, shit. Like, I'll give you 20. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> what is your problem? That's awesome. So then the guy's like, well, uh, uh, and, like, so people started to, to like, come around us, and I was like, dude, 86. I was like, out, we're pull a bullet. So what did you do? The dude grabbed all of my friend's cash, which was only, like, 120, but clearly not as much. Did and he we, give him? He, he, and we took the bag and just sort of, like, everybody was sort of scared and walking away. Shadiest thing that's ever happened to me. Huh? And it was pure crap. Oh. It wasn't That's even interesting. You've been in, involved in a drug deal. I have one. And thankfully, I came out alive. Nice. Alive. Uh, we should probably get to the first story. Sure. Cheers. Yes, first story <laughs> of the day. Uh, new Dig version 3 launched. We had to mention this. I'm yes. sure you've seen the site. Brand new categories. Mm. Um, but it is the number one Doug story. And of it's our time, first really. story ever to hit 10,000 digs. 10,000 digs. So it's had 10,157 digs submitted by R. Botros. Fair Arbitros? Enough. Yes, Arbitros. Okay. Uh, he says, it was just live now. The MIDI was fun to hear. So it was down for a little while. We turned it live. If you yeah. haven't checked it out, we have uh, sections for science, world and business, <laughs> videos, which is really kind of cool. That was kind of cool. And I have to say, I like, this, I like the entertainment news section. I mean, I know, it, it, you know some people are some of the, like, Hardcore diggers are going to be like, dude, f entertainment news. But it was—it's nice to be able to hear stuff like when I'm reading the homepage. I heard the thing that there's a Wolverine movie going right. to be coming out in 2007. That you know that Aaron, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Who's the guy? The 90210 guy that Aaron died. Spelling. Aaron Spelling died. You know what I mean? Like all this news that. I'm interested in, right. I can now see, I mean, well, dude, I've well, been digging like crazy. One of the things I, I should say to <clears throat> all of the hardcore tech diggers, uh, dig has not changed in that if you don't like any of this other stuff, you Turn just log off. in and you click on add and remove topics and yeah. you can remove any of the crap that you don't like. So if I you like po uh, politics. I remove celebrity stuff because I'm not in a celebrity like gossip or anything like that. But, you know, uh, I haven't really seen any, so I kind of figure like one every couple days or whatever. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, I'm like, Meh. it's not. I mean, it's the base of users could care less, but every once in a while, there's like, uh, yeah. What was the story? Uh, Aaron Spelling died. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, it was not Britney Spears. Oh, somebody's posing nude for Playboy now. Oh, oh Ashley Simpson. Ashley Simpson, yeah. But it turned out she Ashley. turned it down. Well, yeah, but that's an interesting little tidbit of information. <laughs> I, I just was. It's my job to browse through the categories. That's good. That's good. That's the reason why it was not something that you do because you are a weirdo. Yes, <laughs> correct. So that's that. Good yeah, story. if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. I mean, I honestly, I, I mean, I've, I've been sort of a, um, a passive dig user now. It's like it's what I check out every morning and get that's my cool. news and because I can get more, you know, more than just the technology stuff, which I used to get from dig. But then I'd also want to know what's going on in the world news and what's going yeah. on in entertainment, what's going on and blah blah blah. Shall we move on? We should. We should. Uh, Spider-Man 3 trailer online. 2,871 people dug the story submitted by Bitter Kempari. No description, just watch. This is cool. This is really cool, but there's actually some information behind it. They were not supposed to release this um, uh, trailer to the internet until after Tuesday at midnight. It got leaked because people were um, leaked it on the internet because it was supposed to premiere in front of the Superman movie. Ah. It was not supposed to be on the internet before it came out on the Superman movie. I see. And somebody in like one of the movie houses or whatever ran the thing, videotaped it, almost like people you know, pirating movies with a handy cam, yeah. and then posted it it's on so YouTube. It's so funny the trailers are getting pirated now. <laughs> Never would have thought. Trailers are getting pirated. But uh, did you see the trailer? Yes. Dude. So, I have a question Hot. about the movie, though. Shoot. So Please. does he turn into Venom, or like, what's the deal? He turns into Venom. Does he? And then, Yes, at the so beginning, because like he finds this stuff. I don't know how they're going to deal with it, because I was actually talking to a, a friend of mine. My friend Ted is in it, and his brother directed it. So I've actually seen like the script, and he was out, off shooting it and all that stuff, and telling me all about you know what was going on. Um, obviously not that much, because I don't really know what's going on. But supposedly, what I've heard is in the comic book, there was like this being that made this world out of 
like a bunch of plant, like chunks of different planets, and made this like battle world where he took all the superheroes and had them fight, and that that battle world had that g black stuff. Right. That that's like a living that Spider Man. Yeah, it's like a living alien organism that Spider Man used and was like, oh my god, my suit, it's great. But then it but it turns him evil though, it right? It ups with his head. Right, right, right. Yeah. But then Peter Parker gets rid of the suit and goes back to being Spider-Man, but then this other guy gets the suit and it ah. really Fs him up. And that's where you get that like crazy guy with the big long tongue that's and cool. big muscles. That's Venom. Mm -hmm. Venom Venom. Though Spider-Man was Venom for a while. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, it's crazy. And they had the Sandman. No way. Yeah, didn't you see the Sandman? No, I didn't see that, Sandman. That big thing that was like, psh, you didn't see the trailer. I did see part of the trailer. <laughs> I probably saw the official trailer that didn't have Sandman in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> there was no Sandman in my trailer. There wasn't. For a second. It's like this big giant thing of sand. It's like, wow. Oh, I, I didn't know that was Sandman. You mean the man made out of sand? How could you not know that was Sandman? <laughs> I didn't realize uh, that was Popsicle you know Hands. That was just a guy in the back with Popsicle Hands. Like, how would you... No. <laughs> That'd be the best... I forgot girl. that Sandman was like that. I, I was thinking... I was thinking... Scarecrow um, from no, Batman. No, no, no. I was thinking the thing, where he's like just big rocks. Yeah, that's not Sandman. Yeah, that, that's Sandstone Man. That's totally different. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Sandstone. I'm like, I didn't see any Sandstone Man. Yeah. Uh, All right. Anyway, no and no. But uh, but so anyway, so it's really cool, and I have to say, hands, <laughs> oh, <that's> awesome. <laughs> dude, it'll be a superhero. I'm telling you, it'll be like on the tick or whatever. Um, but uh, so I saw Superman. Ah, and you said it's. I saw it Tuesday night. No, I thought it was great. Really? Yeah, I thought he it was saw great. it. Did you see it? Superman? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, I I went in with really low expectations. I just wanted to see the guy fly around and see some. You did, know. did you get that feeling like when I was a little kid and I watched Superman? And you hear, you hear the music. It's yes. Like, dun, 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 dun. Same music, same intro. Marlon Brando is the dad. They use all old footage is that they didn't use. Is there Kryptonite in there? There's Kryptonite. Nice. I love Kryptonite. It's dude. It's cool. I, seriously, cool. when it starts, when the movie starts, it's definitely you get that like. It's the same feeling that when you had that when you saw the first uh, Star Wars preview. When mm -hmm. that music started, yeah, and everybody yeah. just went ape shit. Oh, I know, I know. It's the same thing. Oh, that's cool. Do you think there's going to be another one after it? There'll probably be three. That's cool. <laughs> They've probably that's already good. purchased three. But he said it sucked, though. I didn't say it sucked. I thought but Brendan Ruth was great. It's a long story because bitter I went to go see it on IMAX and the, the oh. projector broke and I got screwed. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that movie sucks. The projector broke. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's not good. But anyway, so go see it at the very least. It's, it's worth I'm seeing. Go see it. because I'm going to go see it with my dad this weekend. Yes, that's a very <clears> sweet <throat> thing to do. Yes. By your dad. Next story, Motorola does it again. Behold the new H5. Mm. 1,993 people dug this story, submitted by Machuda. Smallest Bluetooth headset in the world fits like a hearing aid. Uh, this is the coolest thing I've possibly ever seen in a Motorola. Uh, yes. It, I, we knew it was coming, picture. but it, this is one of those things that everybody jokes about. It looks yeah. huge. Well, that's the <laughs> thing. You don't is realize that, it's in your piece. It looks well, like but this. it's because, but it does stick out. I mean, it's not. Yeah, but no, but not the much. Microphone? Look, look, the microphone is built in right here on the side of it. So anybody talking next to you could be like, I'm sorry, I'm having no, a no, conversation with No, 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 it kind of friend. channels things with the jawbone. You don't know that. I just made that up. <laughs> The, but oh, it, Keith it, says it's true. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> That's what buddy, you're like, no, it channels through your coccyx and it goes up through the thing. It's all about reverberating in the hips. And, what are, what are and Keith is like, oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, don't gang up on science. That's awesome. <laughs> no, but that is how it works. <laughs> no, it's I not. I read that somewhere. Whatever. I I'm sure you did read so, something. So here's somewhere. the deal. You put it in and there's going to be a little tiny like hearing aid type thing that sticks out. A little tiny bud, if you will. Um, I will. And you, you push a button, it syncs up with your Bluetooth <laughs> phone. It has, uh, has 7.5 hours of extended talk time. Wow. And it comes with a uh, portable charging base. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just nice. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. I will, it's so tiny. Dude, well, that's the thing, because, uh, like, first off, can I say dude any more fucking times? I've just said <laughs> dude like a hundred times. Could you open that for me while mm -hmm. I'm. Here's my theory cats live longer than they should. No, that's just a theory I have. Um, so the thing with this headset is... The beers are going straight to your head. It is. It's awesome. It's that uh, <laughs> Bluetooth headsets are so gaudy. They're, like It looks like people have like looking things. half of like a helicopter pilot's ha headset on. You know what I mean? just go a little bit further if they're going to go that far. <clears throat> At least make it more cyborg-like. Yeah, it yeah, should be like, you know, the fan of the opera mask with like <laughs> oh, a microphone and like an ear thing and, and it would just say Mota Rota. Nice. And then it would say, I'm burnt. 
I mean, you know, half prosthetic and half. Do not uh, make fun of burnt people. I'm not making fun of burnt people. Just the masks that they wear. <laughs> no, not them. I didn't say that. You said that. That's horrible. No, it looks good. You're a horrible person. It's a great uh, Bluetooth headset. Alex is drunk off of one beer. I'm interested to try it because um, obviously, I, like, I have a Bluetooth headset and I like it. But it's I've just never like done all Bluetooth. The rigmarole Here's my question. Here's my question. Answer. And honestly, if any of the viewers out there know the answer to this, please email me with the subject line "Answer to Kevin's Question." <laughs> I'm thinking. No, here's the thing. I'm curious about how much radiation do these Bluetooth headsets put off? Mm. Because I like I have the phone and I'm like I I can feel the burning. Like you know my That's phone what turns we call like psychosomatic. No, it turns it turns totally hot, right? My phone's like a little brick of heat. And I know there's just like radiation pouring in, and I would love to like go Bluetooth, but I know there's radiation coming off of that. So it's like, is it a quarter of the radiation that I would get off of my normal phone? Like, what's the deal? Do you know? I uh, know. no, but uh, I just kind of feel like, dude, radiation. No, like, is that going to be the thing that yes, catches me at the might. end of the day? It might. Because I talk on the phone too much. It could. Nobody knows. There hasn't been any, like, I mean, cell phones have only been around for what, like 10 years? Like, that the masses have been using? I guess I know what you're saying. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, P2P Insurer will pay your fines if the RIAA sues you $19 a year. This is really awesome. I love this awesome. story. So 2,279 people dug the story submitted by a sticker. Apparently, a company in Sweden is offering file sharing insurance. They'll pay your fines if you're sued by the RAAA. Uh, they, they translated <clears throat> some of the stuff from the Sweden, Swedish website. Uh, for a mere $19 US per year, they will pay all of your fines and give you a t-shirt if you get connected, convicted for file sharing. The t-shirt is uh, well, it's what, a deal closer. Well, I mean, how great would that be? I got I sued by the RAAA. Dude, that's, I mean, this is so smart for them because think year about is it. Cheap. Yes, and think about how many people file share, right? What's the average settlement for the RAA? Like five grand, right? Five grand. Ten grand, about, something like that. No, it's not even ten grand. I think it's like five grand. It might even be like two grand. And it's they don't just have to know annoyance. that you have this insurance. Nope, you just go, all right, here's my check. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking brilliant. This, this is brilliant because think of how many people, I mean, just think about how. The, I mean, just the, if you do the numbers, I mean, how many people are not getting sued by the RAAA but are afraid of getting sued by the RAAA that are going to give you $20 a month, and how many people that do get sued by the RAAA are you going to have to pay out for? Yeah. I mean, this company is Like a couple thousand genius. maybe, but if you have, you know, 100,000 people giving you 19 bucks, what does it matter? That's cool. This company's great. Dude, are you gonna smart. I don't really No, I don't do it anymore. I don't either. I stopped. Be well, well, I never even really did it before. Hmm. <laughs> I did on on, uh, on on what do you call it? Uh, Wave Napster way back in the day. Yeah. I downloaded a few files. <clears throat> it's I don't know. I have a place that I remember. Yeah, we'll talk about the the final email that we have about all of MP3. Mm. So we'll get to that. But it ties in. That's what we call a tie-in. Very cool stuff, though. It is a very cool stuff. So uh, <clears throat> smart insurer out there, and I believe other companies will hop on the bandwagon. Yeah, I think Allstate. But here's the question. Is it, is there some legal issue with no, this? No, this is Sweden, they do whatever they want. No, but I mean, like seriously, like if I was Geico, is it really, I mean, because basically you're saying. Geico oh, shit, is car know. insurance though. Well, yeah, but they're smart. But, but what I'm saying is, is like, how is it, it's insurance, it's like saying, it's okay to do drugs and then pay us because you do drugs and then when you get, Arrested for drugs. I don't think we'll pay out. I don't think this kind of type of company. I'm just. I mean, that's totally yeah, it, stupid. No, no, no. I know what you but, mean. I don't think there's any way a U.S. company could pull this off. There's mm -hmm. no way. If it's a U.S. company and they're offering anti-RIAA insurance, yeah, that is basically saying that if you because right, there's something that seems just get caught a robbing illegal. a bank, then right. we'll pay you. We'll bail you out of jail. It's like no. Well, which would be good. Maybe have, we should set up. Bail you out of jail, though. Yeah, but those are bail bondsmen. Yeah, but they're different. Because they give you money and then they chase you. So there's... Yeah. See, yeah, that's different. Anyway. Let's move on. Cool story. Next story. Google <clears throat> could have bought MySpace for half price. I love these could have bought stories. 1,856 people dug the story submitted by MindStyle1. Google could have bought MySpace for half price. They passed because they thought they could do it better on their own. Talk about a strategic blunder. So here's the deal. Basically... I don't know if MySpace was, was, was shopping around saying that, you know, yeah. it's kind of time for us to sell, but they had the opportunity to buy MySpace for 250 million bucks. 
Jeez. and they turned it down. Yeah, but, but crap, nobody that's a lot knew. of money. Well, nobody knew. I mean, that's the really? thing. It's like I could have invested in Microsoft. Well, in here's the, the deal. I mean, but but, <laughs> but I didn't. If you take a look at the trends on on MySpace, it was clear that they were I mean dominating the social. Well, Rupert Murdoch knew. I mean, he, right. he figured it out exactly. Or Ross <clears throat> Levinson, who is who, the guy behind an actual purchase, uh, who works for Rupert, I guess. Sure, right. But um, he he basically, I mean, they they made a good buy at, at the time. Great everyone buy. was freaking out. They were like, "Oh my gosh, you spent five hundred sixty million dollars. You bought MySpace." That's insane. It's a half a billion dollars. And now there's not a single freaking TV show that doesn't say check out MySpace.com well, I, slash and, my TV show. And name. it's like they get more traffic than Google now or something like that. Uh, it's something crazy. insane. Well, they said, what was it? That, like 60%, there was some like crazy number, like 60% of the people, or maybe even as high as like 80% of the people who are on the internet visit MySpace. Oh, it's, it's pretty crazy. They In said the US. 30% of US citizens have a MySpace account or something like that. Jesus. Yeah, something like that. 30% of the people who have the internet on the internet oh. access MySpace. Okay, 30% Still, of Still, that's have high. Internet. That is extremely high. I mean, high. what other website 30% None. of the entire population of internet users in the U.S. go to? None. You know what's funny is I was on, okay, mm. I was on uh, uh, Friendster the other day. Yeah. I hadn't logged in a long time. I was like, ah, I might as well log Never in. Never done Friendster. You haven't? No. You, you were on it back in the day? So I logged in and I, I was playing around with their features. And, you know, I was like <clears> checking out like what sites are up to. Friendster is actually a better service. Like the searching they allow you to do yep. between like different degrees of separation and just the, the way that it works, yeah. it's better. It's cleaner, it's easier to use, but you know, it's hard to, once you're the leader, to, to unseat You know what guys. I think Friendster's problem was? Um, well, it was all about was. dating. Well, so no, is MySpace. No. Well, but no, but MySpace somehow, I don't, like when I heard about Friendster, the first thing I thought was, well, I have a girlfriend, so I don't need to go on Friendster. But when I saw MySpace, it was like, oh, that's cute. I'll put up a little profile and invite my friends. Yeah, but I think it's just because you, no, you didn't you know experience I mean? like, Friendster. Friendster was like that, too. They had a lot of the kind of like, we're having a barbecue this weekend. All of your friends get to know about it by posting a bulletin. You did know? you see the Frapper friends section thing? Uh, where it shows you where people are coming from? No, Frapper did this. and Basically, Frapper knocked off MySpace. What did they do? It just looks exactly like MySpace. I can't remember. They created their own... Uh, I'll show it to you after the show, right. but it looks exact, like exactly like MySpace, like chat now. Yeah, share but pictures. everybody's trying to do that, and that's the problem. It's like what's well, the same thing with Dig? Well, uh, yeah, I know. I mean, look <laughs> at AOL, and they, they tried to create a MySpace knockoff, and everyone's trying to create, and they have to understand that you're not going to convince people to leave MySpace by creating by cloning them. Right. You're not going to convince people to leave uh, Dig by cloning Dig. You have to innovate. Like there has right. to be something, a drastic change <clears throat> that makes the service and the experience better yeah. for people to migrate to a new platform. The only thing that Frapper is doing now is that there's the Frapper mm -hmm. map based on your friends. So you actually see a little map in the corner yeah, that shows you the pixel port. But at the end of the day, you is that just, enough? No. No, it's not enough. No. But you know. And I love, but but the one thing that I also really love is the fact that. It used to be like in the '90s, <clears throat> it was all about design. Right. You know what I mean? Now like it's all if about the design. It, design. It, it, no, it, it's all about functionality. You're right. It, well, you know what I mean? Like, and the the sort of lure of this is underground because the design sucks so bad. I mean, there are some things on MySpace. First off, MySpace is slow as dog shit. In the That's middle so of the day, in the middle of the day, if you go in and you, uh, dude, it is like dog poo poo caca. Well, dude, it's it. The problem is those auto playing songs. Well, if you all that open up someone's that. profile and just the song automatically, well, you can turn it off in your settings. You mean like still, your profile, you cocksucker? It's a good song. Dude, but you just said it. <laughs> Dude, I don't Don't have you hate copy. it when you have that automatic song? I don't song. have you copy taste of music, though. That's not the point. Well, of, is, yes. That's not the annoying part. It's not like I go to a site and I'm like, oh, I hate this song. It's I don't want anything playing that I don't say setting. to play. There's a setting. Yeah, you know what? There's a setting on yours too. I turned. I, I, I did. It didn't no, work you did well, not. but now it no, works. You did not. I did. No, you did not. Keep going. Team Executor confirms leaked hacked Xbox 360 pictures. 1,840 people dug the story submitted by Heaven Sent from main page xbox-scene.com. Post this article today regarding some pictures. Uh, some people were screaming fake. We can assure you they are real. Uh, some way to go yet in various areas, but. Yes, you can see a larger hard drive, Avalanche in the screenshot, no Photoshop's going on. There, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No, it's just because you, you, you had a hard time reading that. Oh, I, just, I didn't quite pick it up. So the bottom, <laughs> Jesus. The bottom line is Team Executor put out these screenshots 
of the Xbox 360 running with what is soon to be the ex Team Executor's new mod chip for the Xbox 360. All right. So, so tell me this. Shoot. Are, are you going to get to, so you can basically just back up your games in, like the old one. Yeah, back up your games. There'll probably be people putting out uh, applications. You'll be able to stream video from your hard drive. It's, why? Here's why? The, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me set this up. Let me set this up. The Xbox, you did not have to have the live component. Because there was a lot of uh, like single player, you know, four player games. The Xbox 360 is all about the live component, right? It's about connecting up with your friends. Where are you going? All I'm going is like basically every single mod chip. Well, one thing that Microsoft is very good at is checking for when you sign on to Xbox Live, is checking to see if you have mod chips installed. And if you do, they shut down your account. And because but of that, they'll never be able to use live. I don't want an Xbox where I have to switch off the mod chip and then, then play my live games. Well, maybe I do. Because then, <laughs> then I can back up all my games. It would just be easier to Back play up all your games. Download games. But most of the cool games are like multiplayer games now, right? Not all of them. Well, boxing's fun, but I'd rather play you in boxing over our network over the internet, right? Have we ever done that? Uh, we've talked about it. We've talked about it a yeah. lot. But would you rather get boxing for free and have me sit down and play when I'm here? I see where you're going with this. Oh, Jesus, monkey fuck. We need to go faster. Okay, okay, okay. So awesome. We're very excited about that. Um, hopefully that will come soon. Dell and AMD sign a deal for one million chips. 1,755 <laughs> people dug the story submitted by Chuck It. Looks like Dell will start selling AMD-based machines. This is going to get interesting. This is really cool. I, I, I love it. I have an AMD right here. Well, the, the thing is that, gosh, Intel's kind of lost the, the whole desktop, right? I'll tell you when they it kick is. ass on the on the notebook side. Sure. But the desktop, I, I don't know. Their, their chips are more expensive. Yep. They're, I mean, I'll tell you, I know exactly when it happened. When did it happen? Don't give me a date. Just when they changed. 1976, <laughs> when I was born. No, um, they changed the uh, naming. Ah, the numbering. Absolutely That right. is it. You that was it. Right. Because it, that was the last time I ever looked into buying an, an Intel chip was because Here. I don't want to learn a new okay. fucking language somebody to out buy there, a chip. Somebody out there knows someone at Intel. What? Contact your friend at Intel and say, hey, have the people in the marketing department watch this video. Yes. Because we will tell you the number one problem, that the is reason it. why people do not buy your processors that is, it. is because we can't understand which one is the fastest. No, and I don't we want, need, I have enough shit that I got to re right, remember. Right, exactly. We want to know how many cores it has and yep. what like rating it has. Give me yeah. a number. Give me it, like a and it can be arbitrary. It can be like AMD pulls it out of their ass. Yeah, they're like yeah. they're like fifty-seven plus. And it's like <laughs> I don't even know, but I know that's better than a fifty-six. Plus. <laughs> right, exactly. You know what I mean? It's so that is it. It's it's so, the, that is it. That is it. That is when Intel went I down. I know. I know. Because nobody can understand. It's they like, can. It's like Ultra Extreme Edition. It's I know, like but now it's like Platinum K, Extreme K Edition. K107S. And I'm like, I, it's I know. not even a number I know. And they're like uh, Copper Platinum Extreme no, Edition. You're stupid, like, is stupid, it better stupid. than the Copper? Is it just Extreme? Nobody knows. I don't know. Is there a Copper Extreme? <laughs> is it Extremely Copper? Is that worse than Gold? It, it, <laughs> <laughs> like, who knows? I know. That was the moment. That was the moment. You're Because that was right. the last time I bought an Intel chip. Whatever happened to the old like 486, 586? Like, Dude, like, yeah. I enjoyed that. Pentium 1, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4. I know which one's better. Right. And then there's a megahertz you know I mean? assigned to it. Yes. Yes. And again, AMD didn't go by the gigahertz. They went by this is the equivalent to this gigahertz on an Intel chip. And right. I bought it hook, line, and sinker. I don't care. Right. I don't, I don't even either. care if it's true. Honestly. Honestly. I don't care if it's right. true. Well, the it, only thing that matters <clears throat> is it has to be relative. So that it has to be mm -hmm. a step mm -hmm. up from the one below it. Yes. And that's all we care about. That is you it. know how much you can spend. Yep. You go to the store and you're like, you know what, I have $250 to spend on the processor. processor. What is the best one I can buy? And you look and you say, okay, it's this, this one. one. And then you go, damn, I wish I could get the one step higher. <laughs> Which is okay, a number up. I will buy it and not be able to afford it, but I still got right, it. Right, exactly. And you feel good about yourself. <sighs> they just don't understand. Dude, that. I'm telling you, that was it. That was the moment they lost me. You're right. That's it. All right, thank you. Which is weird because it's such a stupid reason to lose business. It is. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not because their chips are worse. It's not because their chips are that much more expensive. I mean, yeah, they are. But I always loved f knowing I had an Intel. You know what I mean? That was why I didn't have an, an AMD for a long time. It was because I just sort of felt like it was, you know, like 
somehow somehow I, I don't know what it was, but just like it was like getting a Porsche versus See, getting like a, I was a Toyota. I'll have to say I was on the opposite side of that because I, I always <laughs> loved having an AMD because it felt as though I was helping the underdog. And yeah, like, that's true. I, when I ran it, I was like, ah, oh, screw you, Intel. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I know what you mean. Okay. Now you're gonna have to get an Intel to feel that way. Well, you know, I like the Intel in here. Uh, my uh, my 64-bit AMD pro uh, portable has been amazing on this machine. I well, still haven't put my. The my one reason on I there. like the Intel's on the on the laptop side is because I understand it. Too. It's like dual core. Mm -hmm. This is the gigahertz rating. Easy enough. Yeah. They have it down, but on the desktop side, it's like, what yeah. are we talking about? All right. Four, two, four, two, six. World's second richest man <laughs> gives away fortune to Bill Gates' foundation. 3,513 people dug the story submitted by, get this, P9S55W5K4GUD2C6. Yes. It's, and believe it or not, that's I a user. have added this user as a friend. He submits his shit. He's awesome. He's got great stories. Dude, he, he's tr I'm or sure she, it spells something like or she. gotcha or something like that. There's, Warren Buffett, the world's second, it's not a woman, it the world's second richest woman who's <laughs> now worth $44 billion, will start giving away 85% of his wealth in July. Most of it will go to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. That's nice. This is nice. I mean, I kind of, one, it was sort of out of nowhere. I didn't even think Warren Buffett was still alive. But, but Bill Gates is doing some cool stuff. I'll have oh, to say, really you, you know stuff. what's really funny? He gives away a shit ton of Do his money. Do you feel like this? And, and everybody out there, ask yourself this question. <laughs> I just messed up on that one, but you understand where I'm going. I feel where you're going, brother. Go for it. <laughs> Does Microsoft doesn't seem like the assholes they once were. No. They're getting their butts kicked in so many different areas. You're yeah. kind of like, oh, Microsoft, come on, man. We'll help you out. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Bill Gates doesn't seem like this evil guy anymore. Like He's quitting. He's just going to kind of go chill. Yeah. He's going to run this foundation with his wife. Which is doing like amazing it's things. It's doing amazing things. But I always wonder how this came to be. Like His wife is the one that started this up. Yeah. Melinda Gates. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I you know she was like, he has like, so much Dude. money. And she's like buying shit. And he's just like, woman, will you start your own foundation? Do, do something. <laughs> no, no. Get out of the goddamn house. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the most expensive house that's ever been <laughs> built. Just get out. Go for a drive. No, you know what Save I mean, Save somebody no. in Africa, for fuck's sake. She needed, she needed <laughs> something to do, though. You know what oh. I mean? <laughs> That's horrible, Kevin. Isn't that bad? He uh, has so much money, though. I think she's got the checkbook, right? Well, what do you do? I mean, that's just, it's really interesting. I was actually thinking about uh, this the other day because I bought a lottery ticket. You'll see where I'm going in a second. <laughs> I bought a lottery ticket for like, I think it was like 76 million. And I was like, all right, well, somebody's got to win. What if it's me? I was like, that's kind of cool. What would I do? Like, what would, what would you do if you won all the money? I know what and you would do. You know what I'd do? I'd do exactly what I'm doing right now. Oh, that's nice of you to say. No, but I'm serious. Like, this is exactly what I would do. I would want to be doing, you know, <laughs> no, act, you acting. Wouldn't. I want to. Dude, that's exactly what I would do. I'd be able I to do more do. shows. I know what you would do. What? You would do some other things. <laughs> dude, well, tell me later because I'm interested. Dude, because this is what I would do. I mean, I literally, know what you like I and would... I know what you would do. Oh, well, all right. So, I mean, <laughs> after I had my crazy fantasies fulfilled for a career. <laughs> But it was nice to know that this is exactly what I would want to do. I would want to do, you know what I mean? That's like cool. make cool videos that people can enjoy and get people out there and do, you know, stuff. I don't know if it would be this, you know, whatever. <laughs> but it would be the same shit. That's good. That's good to know. So did I you mean, would you? you? Wouldn't you be like, fuck this, I'm going oh, to quit and dig, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Well, there's, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. There's, there's so much more that I, I want to do on dig. I'm not done with dig anytime soon. But Well, no, but uh, you know what I mean. Like you go, I, I you know. I guess maybe we just have the no, luxury of not I, I having think, a No, I think that's, yeah, exactly. I think well, that's I one of the coolest things is that we actually get to do what we love, which is awesome. And that's, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with Bill Gates. He's like, dude, what do I do now? Right. You know, I mean, he still works at Microsoft because that's his baby. That's what he it's loves. It's cool that he's leaving, though, man. That's awesome. He needs to when just is he chill. Leaving? A couple years. Yeah. He gave two-year notice. How old is he? 100, 150? 67. Mm. Something like that. No? Bill Gates, he's 40. Eh, 40s, Piker said. 40s. Early 40s. Early 40s? No, yeah, he's not as old. Almost 50. Almost 50. All right, well, whatever. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, then good for you. You should have retired two years ago and gone and got yourself That's some. That's good. Bomber needs to retire. Bomber needs to retire before he kills himself. They need himself. to get somebody in there <laughs> that can just like, that can just chill for a little bit, you know? I don't know. That's the one problem is I don't know who they're going to get to replace these guys because well, they they're so inherently, 
They're so Microsoft. Well, that's the problem. They need somebody that's like, you know what? We are going to open up the Word standard, and everyone can share in it, and we are going to open up these things. We're going to share with people. They just don't get it, man. They're so closed off, and they're well, but getting they better. They have though. made a lot of money doing that. I'm just right. Gonna... It's very true, but they need to restructure. All Oops. right, sponsors. Let's do it. Thank you. We'd love to thank Cashfly, as always, for handling all of Dignation's distributions. If you're interested in checking hey. out Cashfly's service, please head over to cashfly.com slash Dignation or use the coupon code Dignation. Kevin really wants to say something. When you sign up, you'll get the first month's free to check out. Cashfly came out to San Francisco. <laughs> I know, yeah. And uh, had some steaks. Thank you for the steaks. Steaks were amazing. He owes me steaks. He's going to be in Newport, and I think we're going to hook up. Are you really? We went to Morton's. Nice. Dude. I like Morton's. Oh, my was it loud in the restaurant? You know what's funny is I don't eat steak that often because I'm I I don't kind of I read the book Fast Food Nation and kind of killed everything. You know it's coming out as a movie, right? I know I can't wait. <laughs> uh, but you know it was one of those things where I had to have one and I had a uh, what's Flamignon? the Flamignon. Flamignon. Yeah. And oh, yeah. it was like thick and fat I and love good Flamignon. and it was stuffed. And Dan had lobster. And I was like, let me get some of that lobster. We did a little fifty fifty swap. It was good. It's good stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll take you at the Papone. Did I ever take you to Papone's in no. uh, Brentwood? What is that? <sighs> it's just. Unbelievable Italian place, and it's like a half a block from my apartment. Oh, oh, oh! It's like up around the corner to the right. <clears throat> yeah, and it's got that. You always awning. told me that's like a good date place, but I never took. Yeah, you I'll take you there. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll buy. It'll be like a date. No. Uh, also, GoDaddy.com. Uh, we've been doing this GoDaddy.com special, uh, like a uh, competition, <clears throat> and it's been amazing because everyone been has really been submitting fun. their domain names that yeah. they've registered through GoDaddy. So if you want to. Oh, come on in. I think that's the yeah the business week lady. Come in. We're just finishing up. Yes. Hello. But come in, grab it's a okay. seat. How are you? Uh, but uh, it's been amazing. People have been submitting us these really cool domain names. I think the one one last week was mymomrightclicks.com. Yes, you picked that one out. I did pick this up with that one out. This one, uh, we got an email here. It says, "Hello, Alex and Kevin. Uh, I have registered the domain sexylogs.com. I registered a week ago with the coupon code Dignation." Great for you. Uh, I will be tagging uh, women's videos that are on YouTube and other videos that are hosted on mm -hmm. Yahoo and stuff like that. So he's basically calling all those things. We checked it out. They're uh, it's sexy. It's part of the job. It's like sexy it's logs. Blogs. It's so like a sexy log. It's not the best domain name, though. Sexy logs. It's well, like, it makes sense. It I thought it was going to be some sort of like lumberjack <laughs> thing, but <laughs> or like something I did not want to see. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of two things. One of the two yeah. things. And but then I thought maybe it would be like, do you remember Log from uh, Ren and Stimpy? Yeah. Do you remember Log? Yeah. Uh, the play with the log? But it was... It rolls downstairs. It, in front it was of just... The neighbor, it right? was just women kind of bending over and doing... Yeah, well, yeah it was sexy blogs. Yeah. It was like video blogs. Maybe sexy blog. I, it was probably blogs. taken. Probably, probably taken. taken. But uh, but anyway, uh, he said, look forward to Dig version 3, because he sent it a while back, uh, Eric M. So thank you, Eric. Congratulations. Yep. Uh, and uh, good luck with sexy logs. <laughs> yes. So uh, if you have a domain name that you've registered through GoDaddy and you want to send it to us, uh, send it to dignationfans at gmail.com and put in the subject line, uh, yeah, Google, uh, uh, GoDaddy Awesome. GoDaddy Awesome. GoDaddy Awesome. And, and do put GoDaddy Awesome in there because we have a filter. Mm -hmm. uh, not a filter, but a, a, a label that sends it to this one section. We just read through that. So if it says something else, then GoDaddy Awesome. We Won't could see it, see it but we Maybe don't. Yeah. But we didn't. And we have a t-shirt winner. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, Michael Hurley. <coughs> Hello, Hurley. Are you supposed to about last names? It doesn't matter. I don't know, whatever. Hey, guys. Remember when the first time we did this and I read the guy's entire email address? <laughs> That's right. You're like, from like, Mark. I was like, and his email address is getting and bombarded. He's <laughs> Said, hey, guys, just thought I'd send you a pic of my Dignation shirt. It's at 2 a.m. on a Sunday morning. All right. It's waiting for Dignation to be released. Oh, it's waiting for Dignation. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. Didn't know what he's doing. Uh, thanks for all the hard work you put in these great shows. Can't wait for you guys to come over here. We are coming to the UK at some point. He's in London. That's awesome. Uh, if you have any lady friends, bring them out. Yes. Thanks a bunch, uh, Mikey. And we have a picture which I'm not logged in to receive. So, Gotta love Gmail. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, Mikey. And Mike, Mike with a Y. Right. And now I have a <laughs> email. I have an email for the poor today's. Poor guy's like, my name's not Mikey. Here's, here's my email for today. <laughs> Did you get an email as well? I, that was the one. Oh, okay. There we go. Go. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kevin and Alex. Love the show. I found you recently and I enjoy it so much. I've gone through your archives. That's cool. I wanted to respond to your comment a few shows back about all of mp3.com. You said, quote, until someone tells me it's illegal, I'm going to keep using it, end quote. 
Well, consider yourself told. <laughs> Come on, guys, you both know better than this. There is no way this is legal, and there is no way that the artists are getting royalties from these sales. Market values of song is much higher than 0.808 cents. An album or whatever it is, MP3, all of mp3.com is charging. If you want to pirate music, that's fine. I won't criticize you, but uh, <laughs> it's really stupid that you're paying someone else to pirate it for you. If you want to pirate music, get a torrent. I mean, he's just going on telling us how to pirate music, pretty much. No, it's uh, cool. Here's a link to all yeah. my pirated music. <laughs> exactly. We'd like to download it for free. So here's the deal. Uh, <clears throat> it's not eight cents an album. It's like a dollar an album. So oh, oh, that makes no, it all better. <laughs> but <laughs> that's like going to China and buying dollar CDs. Right. You know the shit is illegal. <laughs> yeah. Right. Come on. Well, you, come I, on. I know. I know that, that he's saying it is. And no, I, and we're every Jesus says it is. Everybody <laughs> says it is. <laughs> I know, I know. People I'm, who I'm don't done. even know what I'm Russia done. is. I paid uh, like forty dollars and they had this coupon deal where you kinda of sign up and you get like an extra twenty dollars, so I got sixty dollars worth of music. It's a good deal at the time, right? And I think I have like three dollars left because um, So you have three full albums left? Yeah, three full albums left. So once I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> once I illegally purchase those <laughs> albums, I will well, never break knows? the law again. <laughs> there has not been anything proven yet and no one has been taken to court over this. <laughs> I'm trying. Kevin man. Rose going to be the first person. It's not an album. It's not an album. You did. You're preaching to the choir. It's like, it's yeah. No, it's not. It's just that it's so cheap and it's so good. No, I it's know. It's all about cheap quality. You get really good quality with them. I don't want to download it off of some kind of uh, illegal torrent site because I don't get the quality that I do with this site. <laughs> I just thought that that was the illegal torrent site. <laughs> well, it's floating out there. Yeah, it's like, things. I don't even know what I, it is. I don't know. But all I have to say is... You've done it. Shame on you. You have <laughs> done it. <laughs> I've, never, I've never bought anything from... But my feeling is, if I'm going to pay any money, I'm going to buy it from somebody who gets some of that money to the artist. I would like to do that. I hope No, no, I no. I know you feel that money. in your heart of hearts. I hope they're sending money to the artist. But... Come on. They dude. might send a little bit. That's like, that, oh, no, dude. That's like b believing that, like, it, you know, when you clap, fairies die and shit. <laughs> They're, Russia is not sending money to you two, ever. No, you're right. Yeah, you I mean, come on. I'm done. I'm done. But, I, but I, I will say that. I would rather, well, because here I go back and forth, and I do the same thing with movies and TV shows and stuff. Which is, if I'm not gonna watch it, if I'm not gonna pay to watch it. They're not losing money by me watching it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> yes. not gonna go watch I love how Ultraviolet. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not gonna go rent the DVD of Ultraviolet. Yeah, but dude, yours is even worse than mine. At least I'm dude, paying no, for it. Dude, no, mine makes sense. Mine economically stands up to the theories of economics set forth <laughs> by John Waters or whoever the no, guy was, not. John Thompson or Smith. John Smith. This is how we get I a few drinks. Fit. We have a writer from Business Week over here. Well, she knows it's true. She can run the numbers. <sighs> They're not losing numbers. Any money. I would never buy that DVD. Sure, I watch it. That's not the point. <laughs> well, you would. Oh, I can understand that because you would. You see what if I mean? it came out on like USA, you would watch it on TV. Probably even not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So I'd be losing ad money because right. I want to be able to watch it when I want to watch it. Huh. Just go click an extra banner ad somewhere, and you've kind of paid for it. Sure. That's how. That'll make me feel better. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't feel bad. And I have this I have this argument with my girlfriend all the time because like I'm like, oh dude, come over. No. We oh, uh, we want to see Lucky Number Slevin. And it was not it was not in and this Slevin? It, Slevin, yeah. And it went out of the theaters. And uh, I was able to acquire it. And uh, I was like, oh come over, we'll watch Lucky Number Slevin. She was like, oh I feel bad. And I was like, we couldn't see it in the theater. We can't even go to the theater and watch it. It's not you even can't in rent the theater. It yet. We can't even rent it. Mm. We wouldn't Rent it. I mean, I'm like, wait a second. Heather, no. we wait, don't if rent it was, DVD. If it was out, would you have rented it? If it was Netflix, would you have Netflixed it? No, I don't do Netflix. I don't watch enough movies that I pay for. So you are a pirate, pretty much, at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. if you've learned anything from these two discussions, one, I'm going to stop downloading music from all of MP3 because someone now told me that yes. it's illegal. And I didn't know before didn't that. Know that now we do. And, and, now we do. Two, and two, I pirate. He <laughs> pirates. So there we are. All right, that's it. Science is fun. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's it for this edition of Dignation. Before we run off, I do want to let you guys know. <clears throat> Control All Chicken episode four should be out by the time this is released. Oh, that's cool. Which I'm very excited about. We fixed the whole problem. What are you cooking now? What have you been cooking lately? Uh, this episode four is actually Beef Wellington. Mm. And it's the least successful of all of the foods <sighs> that we made. It blew up in the oven. But people can learn from that. You learn 
from our mistakes. And then the other thing I want to tell you is last weekend, we took the weekend and we shot four more at full episodes. Mm. And of those four, um, all of them were successfully eaten. Oh, and some good. were actually successfully eaten very well. Nice. Even the crew was actually like eating the stuff. And we were like, oh, that's so funny. Last time, nobody even wanted to taste the stuff. Nice. <laughs> and that was like at lunch, people were like, ooh, ah, oh, that's great. Cool. So it's fun. So it should be out. Sounds good. Uh, if you have any interest in hearing, reading the stories that we talked about on this week's edition of Dignation or any of the episodes of Dignation that we've ever covered, head over to dig.com slash users slash Dignation, and you can check out all the stories we've talked about on all 51 episodes, because we didn't this talk about episodes. Yes. And, and you can also see uh, the <clears throat> episodes that are stories that we've been digging. I'm dig.com slash users slash Kevin Rose. And I'm dig.com slash users slash Alex Albrecht, and I have increased my digging uh, proficiency. Yeah. Yes, my dig skill is plus one. Yes, correct. Which is good. Uh, also, please email us at dignationfans at gmail.com. Uh, pictures, we love the t-shirt pictures. We try to do at least one a show. Mm -hmm. Also, domain names if you register them through GoDaddy for the competition. I don't even know. what, what They get stuff, but... Well, yeah, what do they get if out. they win? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? 100 bucks? Jesus. 100 bucks. <laughs> I'm going to start submitting <laughs> my own stuff. say that out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, they do. Oh, they get 100 bucks. All right. Wow. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. I want to do that. That's it for this edition of Dignation. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Until next time, beware of syphilis. <laughs> so we got some changes coming. There will, there will be some changes of the show, obviously. Mm -hmm. The change of the website changes the show. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be covering uh, all of <laughs> Fuck, Let's start it over. Let's start it over. Let's start it over. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Dignation, episode number 53. I'm Kevin Rose. 52. Here we go. Right. Moving on. Here we go. Hello and welcome to Dignation, episode number 52. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. That's good beer. Mm. Dignation, of course, covers some of the top stories on the users. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a news broadcast. And that's good beer.